All right, we are back. Indeed, back with December 26th Detention Center Visitor's Room. It's been like a week since I last played, so... It's Wait, you. hold on a second. Wait. I've... Oh, she was arrested, that's right! I'm like, wait a second, well, why yeah, is yeah, Maya that back here? Yep, that, that happens. Okay, hold on, I'm just trying to remember what the fuck happened. Okay. Yeah, she uh, she was in contempt of court or whatever it was called, or disruption of court. How dare you, Maya! Can't believe you're in prison again! Yeah, whatever. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you! I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through today. They okay? It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyways? Instead of turning into Mia and giving me a deus ex machina. <laughs> I don't know. I I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. From German guy, Von Karma? Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, Von Karma. Just behave from now on, alright? Okay? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's a little bit awkward. I suppose we'll have to find out uh, about some of this stuff. Sorry, somebody was talking to me real quick. That's fine. Questioning, I guess? Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Her first That's offense? very nice of them. But she was wa wanted for murder before. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you the bill or something? Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? That's probably where the word comes from. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. You are clearly not desperate enough yet. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm, she sounds like she really did her do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Probably not, because she possesses you. Yeah. I don't think there's much we can do here. No, but she was fun to talk to. Well, let's go to my office. December 26th, Ride and Co. Law Offices. Sure is quiet here without with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. I mean, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I expected. Can do. December 26th, Gordon Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. I don't know. Well, time to get further into the park, I guess. December 26 is Gord Lake Public Beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Kianse. <laughs> There's not a lot of people here, are there? December 26 is Gord Lake Woods. Ah! Hey, Detective Gumshoe. I did not think you would be here, actually. Yeah, that's actually a little bit of a surprise. Hey, pal. The trial today, it, er... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Heh. <laughs> Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you. You know? Er, thanks? Yeah, okay. Detective Gumshoe, any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Oh no. Another yeah, witness? Problem. You already knew there was another witness. I know, I know. Oh right, he said something about that in the trial today. 
There were two witnesses. Okay. College that's, that's, all. <laughs> that's all the voice acting you get. <laughs> I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. All oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I've never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But okay. there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. I don't know what incident we're talking about here. Ooh. Oh, the DL6 incident. That's right. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Okay, you're apparently good at telling that. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. <laughs> really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Ah, uh, don't worry about that, pal. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Wow, okay. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? So he just... Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. Yeah, that I would mean, be nice, wouldn't it? Technically speaking, isn't he your client, so shouldn't he be paying for your services? That is true. December 26th, boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Ugh. What What do we do? To, oh, I suppose we can go to the, the police station. Yeah, that's the only other place I haven't been yet. Well, yeah, here we go. December 26th, police department. Criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. But we just saw Gumshoe. Yeah, at the scene. Yeah. December 26th, detention center, visitor's room. Hey, Nick, you finally came! I just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Oh my god, that's what I'm thinking. Maya, what did you do this time? <laughs> like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? I mean, you you were a wanted criminal in like two cases ago. You were mean here and you're also a kleptomaniac. That's true. She likes stealing things. Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, and that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? You think I can afford bail? You're crazy. <laughs> he posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. I mean, okay. I want to. Okay, this is just like the tutorial -y stuff, so. Yes, I'm not sure what we can what we can do at this point. To Grossberg. Oh, we can go to Grossberg. I don't know what's okay. here, but we're doing it. December twenty sixth, Grossberg law, law law offices. Apparently, Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if I need it. Who takes one day vacations except me? <laughs> okay, so he's on a one-day vacation. I honestly have no idea where we go from here. 
Why am I back here? <laughs> Why is he I have this? no idea. It looks like Edgeworth is in questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so. I mean, I didn't plan to do anything there. I was just moving on. Okay, we're really getting around a lot of areas today, aren't we? There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Oh, no. <laughs> hey, it's Lana! Y'all really did it today! What did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking, a little uh, self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? <laughs> okay. She is my favorite. Really soft and ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. <laughs> Even though Ugh. I didn't really see anything. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. What's this I next time? <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering we about that We don't want a next time on this. Right. Hey Lada, is Maya going to be involved in that murder next <laughs> <Yeah>. time? <laughs> I hope not. I'm just going to go with a probably. You mean the first time you witness a murder. <laughs> what about Gordy? Right! Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy Fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rack it to stardom. All right, Lotta, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photo photographer, too. Okay, Maya, how about you just get good at talking the dead and being possessed by <laughs> the dead? Instead of taking photographs. That can be your side hobby. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Phoenix agrees with me. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see? Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. What is with these people and, like, don't talk about this very important part of this case? Yeah, I have no idea. And the judge is like, eh, I'll, I'll let it slide. Mm. Fuck it. <laughs> See, I reckoned we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Oh, no. A exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. Oh, my God. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Gotta be a capitalist everywhere. Uh, we are in America, Japan. Hey! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. <laughs> <laughs> it's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. Oh, no. I'm just the exception, okay? Uh, okay. So she, she just, just called herself. Okay. She just said she was not sophisticated, I think. Well, what do we be? We gonna deal or not? Uh, what do we do, Nick? Deal! Uh. You know what? We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the pool. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad of that, at least. Huh? I mean, I am poor. I do have to feed Maya. That's Get a true. Job, That's Maya. a lot of... <laughs> the only fair exchange for information is... Information! Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Oh no. Whoa, 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 Gordy? But Gordy does... I mean, Gordy might not exist. 
Then bring me proof that shows he don't! Uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay. Right! See y'all later! <laughs> okay, Nick, let's get hunting! Hunting? You, you, you don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do! What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy! For him, Nick! Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do you search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good Whatever. Idea. To this place. Uh, what the fuck? Where'd that come from? We were just here like 20 yeah. minutes ago. Okay. Man, works quick. What's that? The Steel Samurai, Nick! Yo! Maya! I think that's what, what oh, I did no. his voice as. Whatever. He's super cheery asshole. Like, idiot. Larry! What the heck is that? Oh! It was my girl Keonce's idea! She was all, if you like, put it this here, it would be like, really cool. Oh no. Dude! She gave it to me along with the banner! Wow! That's real impressive, she could find those for you. Well! Oh, no, no, nope, I've gone lot of there, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got them for free. Right. I am so confused what's going on right now. Dude, I've been confused what's going on since episode one. That's <laughs> so true. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? <laughs> well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. We have two to go, otherwise he's dead. <laughs> I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret, secret we weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. Okay, Maya, we need to talk. Like, let's do this for Edgeworth! But, did you know his secret weakness is earthquakes? It's like, come on, <laughs> he posted bail for you, don't be a bitch. <laughs> he acts like a little boy. Is it too late to send her, like, throw in the ocean or something? Well, unfortunately, that's a lake, not an ocean. Fine, I'm sending her home where there's waterfalls, probably. Huh? <laughs> that's weird! I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Yeah, transferred! Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about that though. Dude, this is Larry. What's he, yeah, what like, does he know he, about? He would forget it anyway. Hey Larry, when did you get that big, um, thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month, yeah. What? It's a big hit with the kids. Why are you sweating you when month? you say that? Probably because it's not really that much for the kids anymore. They're all about the princess. Why wasn't it here? Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The compressor was busted. What? Does that have a compressor? It's an compressor? air compressor. Yeah. Oh. It has to be filled with air. Oh, I get it now. Okay, it's not an actual statue thing. No. Yeah, yeah. I can see that now. it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd be inflated, inflated by yourself. That's a lot of air right there. That's very sassy of her, to be honest. Oh, look at all the flags. Those are also new. Yeah. His girl, Keonce, gave it to him. Let's see, the flags, United States. That looks like weird Germany, but it does have yellow. Japan, Brazil, Netherlands, Bangladesh, India, South Korea, China, United Kingdom, and Australia, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't that steel samurai colors. look a little out of place? I mean, it's it, huge. It kind of does. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's good advertising. Something about this steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. 
Hmm. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. Uh, these Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <laughs> What's this machine? <laughs> that? That's a compressor! I literally just told you about this, Maya. You an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> I use it to fill up that balloon with air with air! Huh. Neat. Just got it repaired yesterday! Man, what a drag that was! Why are you sweating when you say that? Yeah, I am a little bit wondering that too. Those flags look sadly out of place here. Yeah, they really do. Flapping listlessly back and forth in the cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place kind of a festival atmosphere. It reminds me of War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? <laughs> huh? What? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? No. What the heck is that? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh, I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? <laughs> I have no idea either. I don't think I need, I don't think anything else needs to be examined at this point. Probably not. Oh. I don't think that's much to get here. Well, uh, let's check the uh I don't think I anything's guess. gonna be here, but except Lada. Yeah, probably just Lada, you're right about that. December 26, Gold Lake Woods. There she hey y'all! Well, y'all find anything out about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving! It gets cold out here at night time! It is a little chilly. I, I think I have to sneeze! Whoa! Whoa! No, you don't! Damn, Maya! You sneeze loud! <laughs> Holy shit! I told y'all! No sneezing! See? I set that camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang! It triggered on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now! <laughs> okay! Damn. Yeah, that's a good finger snap! Oh, I'm sorry! Yeah, well, sorry's nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. You need a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor, poor Phoenix. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy! Sure. Uh, what are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer! <laughs> what? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet! A UFO! Like the UFO. A, a UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photos this time around, then that's that. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh, so, so you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. You know, I'm <laughs> not as sophisticated as my southern brethren. Oh my god. Right. Well, I suppose we'll search around for Gordy. Still, I suppose the best place we can go is the beach. Well, the boat rental. December 26th, boat rental shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good? Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking vacation till it blows over. I get it. There's not much we can do here, is there? Um... The Criminal Affairs Department? I may as well. The 726 Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey there, pal! What's... what's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, 
He didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. <laughs> I've had like 15 pay cuts in just this case alone. And then Mr. Oh. Edgeworth has cut my pay about 20 times. Last yeah, case. Yeah, that kind of sucks. And then the case before that was cut 30 times. You know, I don't know how I'm making a living right now. Probably only because you're a detective. How's that investigation proceeding? Seriously, Jewel? <laughs> Cat time. It's not really. Ah, uh, there we go. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. Remember that name, it's in red. Apparently. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. Really, Jewel? You just had to walk in front? Well, it's a cat. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with that in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it does look good, pal. Gordy. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek. You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh. Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time! Er, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Dick Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Uh, thanks? Uh, huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Oh. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. <laughs> These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one. Missile. Uh, missile? Leave your collar alone, Jewel. He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! Oh my god! Stop that! It's a dog! Here he is! Hey, he's cute! Look, Nick, a cute dog! A cute dog. And this will help us... How? Good I think we, I think we have the dog. case one. Next! Secret weapon number two! A fishing pole. Uh, what? Here, this is my own personal pole. Uh, Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? <laughs> Never know till you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. Uh, no, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. <laughs> right. How are, we how are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, it might have been eating soda cans. That's actually a good point. Well, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for that totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose I can't hurt to borrow one of them. Uh, do we get the- yeah, I guess the dog. We're borrowing the dog. We'll take Missile. Uh, sure thing, pal. Be good to him. He's so cute! Oh boy. 
<laughs> very cute with shiny eyes. <laughs> he is very cute. Right. Okay, I suppose we have a dog now. And that's enough for this episode. See you next time. Bye.